Well, good evening. We thank you for joining us this evening for the Be Encouraged webcast. We pray that my dad's song he's going to share with you this evening and the message from God's Word that I plan to share will be an encouragement to you. And this video will also be an encouragement to those you share it with. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce my dad, Ken Campbell, who's going to share a song that he wrote titled, Christ Will Return. I pray it's a blessing to you. Daddy? Thank you, Jennifer. I remember it's been now a number of years ago since he passed away, but a good friend of ours, Charles Johnson, uh, he used to sing with the group Charles Johnson and the Revivers. And one evening in the service, he just said, uh, you know, he said the whole world is just in a mess. And that was a lot before uh, recent things have happened. And we look around the world and it isn't a mess, isn't it? I can't believe some of the things that people believe about God. I can't believe things that, uh, that people believe about the universe. Uh, I, I really can't even understand things that, that a lot of people believe about themselves. Uh, the world truly is in a real turmoil in this hour that we're living in. But Jesus said, in my Father's house are many mansions. This is in John chapter 14, verses 2 to 3. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. It's amazing how that some folks, even in the scientific community, uh, when you're preaching out of the Bible, they say, well, that's doomsday stuff. And some of those scientists predict that uh, ultimately that man will become extinct and that the whole universe will die and all of these kind of things. The promise that I have tonight from the Word of God, and I better watch her, I'll just start preaching. <laughs> But the promise that I have from the Word of God is that Jesus Christ is coming, uh, that He has uh, been preparing a place that I can live with Him and rejoice in His presence and His security and His love for all eternity, everlasting. Praise the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? And that's the promise that we have. And I want to share a song that the Lord gave me back in 2015. That sort of is uh, kind of the theme of our ministry. And it says, Christ will return. And tonight, if you're discouraged, if you're downtrodden, uh, I really hope that you will look and rejoice at the thought of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
Well, Jenny's coming along here in just a moment, and uh, we're happy that she's able to be on the program this evening. She had uh, dental, some dental surgery and uh, some procedures done that she's recovering from, but she's here to lift up the name of Jesus this evening, and let's welcome her. Thank you, Daddy. Uh, as my dad said, I had a wisdom tooth extracted or last week, and so since that time, it's been a lot of swelling and pain and some infection and different things going on, so it's kind of affected my ability to talk and swallow and some of those good things that are good to do, but right now, it's just kind of one of those moments when I'm going through a trial, and I know that God's going to heal me and bring me all the way through this and heal me completely, and so I just ask that you pray for me that I have a full recovery as I know God will provide me through his healing power. So all this week and last week as I was preparing for this oral surgery and getting ready for this procedure and everything, I was thinking about the verse in the Bible that talks about our momentary troubles. Because sometimes we get all concerned about things like that, things like a dental procedure or some other kind of medical operation or illness or even a doctor's appointment, just a routine checkup, can sometimes cause us to be anxious and stressed out. But the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4, 17 and 18, it says, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Many times we get wrapped up in all the things of this world. We look at the problems in this world, both on a global scale and a national scale, but even in our own lives, you look at our own problems with our families and friends and jobs and finances and so many things, and we focus on all these problems no matter how great or small. But then we forget to look at the big picture of life because this wisdom tooth extraction that I had, this is a really tiny speck in the big picture of life. This doesn't even hardly count when it comes to a portion of my life, because when we put our trust in Jesus Christ, we have life for all eternity. And we can't even begin to wrap our head around how long that is, because we measure time and days and weeks and months and years, but God, His time is different than ours. The Bible says, for with God, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. So, this few days or weeks, whatever this ends up being that I'm going through this and I can't eat certain foods and can't do certain things and it hurts to even talk. But I know this is momentary. It's just very short when it comes to the huge picture of our lives. And even when we lose a loved one and something horrible and tragic like that happens, like when we lost my mom, that still too is a momentary trouble. It doesn't seem like it because for us it seems like a whole world has changed and things are totally different. But as the Bible says here, our momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. What we're looking forward to is something greater than we could even comprehend on this earth because our human minds don't allow us to understand what heaven will truly be like. But like my dad sang about this evening, Christ will return and we'll see his glory face to face. What a wonderful day that's going to be when we see Jesus Christ face to face. And I look forward to that day when we see Jesus Christ and we're welcomed into his arms and we worship around the throne of God. But I pray that you are also there with my dad and I and many other loved ones and friends and acquaintances that have gone on before. The Bible says we should use our worldly resources so that one day our friends on earth and people that we meet in this earth and minister and witness to and fellowship with, that one day those people will be our friends in heaven. And I look forward to that. I look forward to seeing some of the people that we've met our travels and in many different countries and even here in the United States. I hope and pray that we see all of the people that we've encountered because my heart's cry and my heart's passion is to share the gospel and tell people that there is hope in Jesus Christ. Because we don't just have to look at this earth and say, oh, that's all there is to it. This is it. You live and you die. It's over. No. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians fifteen nineteen, if only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. We don't just have hope in Christ in this life. Because the hope that we have to come 
outweighs them all, as the Bible says here. The eternal hope we have in Jesus Christ far exceeds anything this world will ever have to offer. And we don't have to worry about the momentary troubles and trials that we encounter on this earth because Jesus said himself in John 16, 33, he said in this world you will have troubles, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Jesus knew we'd encounter difficulties. He said it in God's word, but he also told us that we should take heart. In other words, don't worry. Don't be afraid. Don't lose heart. Don't be discouraged because I have overcome the world. Jesus has already overcome every trial we will ever face. God knew long before I was even born I'd be going through this dental problem right now. He knows everything about us, including the numbers of hairs on our head. He loves us more than we could ever possibly imagine. And the Bible says in Psalm 46, 1, it says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. He will help us in our times of trouble. He will be there for us in this momentary troubles we face in life. He wants to give us strength. He wants to give us hope. He wants to give us peace beyond all understanding. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 18, it says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Again, the Bible is telling us that the sufferings we have right now are nothing compared to the glory that God has awaiting for us in heaven. What a wonderful day that's going to be. And Romans 8, 28, one of my favorite verses says that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. We don't have to worry about these trials. We don't have to worry about what life throws our way because God will walk beside us. He will be with us in the good times and the bad. We don't have to be concerned or anxious. We need to put our trust in Jesus Christ. We need to tell others about his saving grace and tell them that there is eternal hope only found in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, so that one day soon when Christ does return, they will also be our friends in heaven. That's one of the two greatest reasons we're on this earth. One, to share the gospel according to Mark 16, 15. Two, to tell people, I mean, to worship the Lord and give Him glory and to fellowship with other believers and give God all the praise that He so deserves. We're here to worship Him in spirit and in truth. We're here to share the gospel and worship the Lord until His soon return. So I pray that you can be encouraged and remember that Jesus loves you so very much. And remember that even in the momentary troubles of life, no matter how difficult life may seem, that God will be with you. He will walk beside you. He'll be with you in every moment of every day. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. So put your trust in Jesus Christ and share his love with other people. Because one day soon Christ will return. Let's bow together in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just give you all the praise, Lord, and we thank you for your many blessings. We thank you that we can put our trust in you. We thank you that you give us eternal hope, not just momentary hope or joy, but you give us hope that will last forevermore. And we thank you that even in the troubles of life that we encounter, that you'll walk beside us. You'll be with us. You'll give us strength to carry on. You'll give us peace when we feel like peace can't be found. Lord, I thank you for your healing touch. Father God, I pray that you'll just minister to the lives of people watching, that you'll heal them. Father God, those that are sick, restore their health. For by your stripes we are healed according to your word. Father God, for those who are discouraged, we pray that you'll encourage them. Help them to put their trust in you and to call on you, Lord. Father God, we thank you that we have the privilege to worship you and to come to you when we need help in our times of need. Lord, we give you all the glory. We worship you in spirit and in truth. And we love you so very much. We love you, Jesus. We give you the praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you for watching this evening. And we pray that this video has been an encouragement to you. We pray that you're reminded that Jesus Christ loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine. We invite you to go to cwrmusic.org where you can watch more Be Encouraged videos. You can also listen to and download the song my dad sang this evening, Christ Will Return. It's free of charge. We pray that this will be a reminder to you that one day soon Christ will return because it could be this very night. And if so, I say, even so, come Lord Jesus.
what a glorious day that will be. So let us all be thankful to the Lord and give Him glory for the hope that we have in Him. Because the hope that we have in Jesus Christ outweighs all of our momentary troubles. Because the hope that we have in Jesus will last for all eternity. God bless you.